Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to show you how to build a front end for your data science project using this awesome tool that I found called Streamlit. So Streamlit is basically like, uh, I don't know what you call it, an API or maybe a library where you, it's just very easy to write some Python code and they took care of everything. You just need to call some very simple functions to show things on a web page. So let me show you some examples. Here, for example, someone built an uh, interactive COVID-19 dashboard with Streamlit. Everything you see here is basically part of Streamlit. There is not much uh, extra um, customization or anything done. So, you know, there is a sidebar that you can pop in and out. That's also built in. Uh, you can decide the user or not. There is sections. You can show plots. So this looks like it's more of like a... Um, uh, visualization sort of application. You can also ha get input from the user. Uh, let's look at another one. You can have 3D um, graphs, 3D plots, you know, very interactive plots. And yeah, you can, you know, you can again get some in input from the user and change your visualizations accordingly. But you can also showcase the machine learning algorithms that you built because it's just, it just works using Python. It's very simple in that sense. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do a uh, build a front end for your data science project under an hour. It might even be under half an hour, to be honest. It's pretty simple to set up. So the first thing that we want to do is just create a folder for your project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this my awesome streamlit front end. And in there, I'm just going to create a folder where I can put my data and I'll just fire up Sublime. And here, just for now, I'm going to say import Streamlit, but we first also need to install Streamlit. So I'm just writing stuff down to save my project. Okay, so once I have this, what I want to do is to install Streamlit. So I will start my terminal. How you install Streamlit is using pip. So you have to make sure that you have pip installed on your computer. As far as I know, Python, if you already have Python on your computer, Python comes with pip. So you don't have to do anything extra, but if you just Google installing pip on your computer, this should be pretty straightforward. So once you do that, all you need is pip streamlet or install streamlet. And yeah. Now I have Streamlit on my computer. Uh, how can you check this? You can do this. You can start Python on your terminal and then say uh, import Streamlit. And if there are no errors, nothing, that means that you have Streamlit on your computer now. But before going further and actually starting to build our front end, I think it's a very good idea to write it down on a piece of paper and imagine what you want it to look like. Because if you just start typing things, just start coding things, you might want to change them in the future. It might get very complicated. So I prefer first writing it down on paper. And here is my design that I made <laughs> for this uh, application. So basically what I have is I first want to have a title and under that, I want to do an explanation of a, what, what is this project about? Why did I choose to do it? And then I will have a small section about the data set that I found. Where did I find it? Some general information about the data set and maybe some plots, maybe some histograms showing the distribution of the data set. And then I want to have a section where I talk about the features that I came up with during feature engineering. Then I can do a little uh, list where I explained uh, the different features that I found. And finally, I will have a model training section with some input from the user. I would like to have a slider where people can choose the max depth that the model should have. And then a drop down menu where they can choose a number of estimators that my random forest should have. And maybe also I'll give them a list of features and tell them to select one of the features uh, to use as an input to my model. And then on the column next to it, I want to show the model performance using uh, different metrics. So this is the plan that I have. And uh, I think the best thing to do first is to create the containers that I want to have. So how do we do containers in Streamlit? This is something that was very recently uh, published, actually very recently launched 
before that there was no options to do this but what you do is basically so there, there are two things in streamlift you have containers and you set, you have columns containers create sections in a horizontal way and columns create sections in a vertical way so that you can have two things next to each other so that's pretty neat um, again, you can still have the sidebar, but I don't want to have the sidebar for this project. I just want to use the whole um, width of the page. And to do that, so first, let's, let's first create the container. So I would like to have a header container. It's very simple to create something in Streamlit. So I imported Streamlit before. What I'm going to say is import Streamlit as SD, so I don't have to write Streamlit every time. So I'll just do Streamlit. So st dot beta container, and it basically creates a container. Now I have a container called header. And what I'm going to do is next, I want to talk about my data sets. I'm going to say data set st beta container. And next I have the features section. And finally, you have model training. And that's it, basically. Uh, now they are uh, created, but we don't have anything in them. So maybe before we run our uh, project for the first time, I can write something. So to write something inside the header or inside the, a certain container, what we have to do is just say with the name of the container and that's all. And you just, of course, have to make sure of the indentation and you can then write whatever you want. So I'm going to say SD, so Streamlit title. I'm going to say, welcome to my awesome data science project. And that's all. I save and now I'm going to run this project and then we can see how it looks. Let's get out of this one. Okay, um, right now I'm there. I just need to go to desktop and my awesome Streamlit front end. And then I will say Streamlit run main.py because that's the name of my Python file. And it's ready here. So let's see. Oh. I wrote this wrong. I guess should be lowercase title. That will do. Yeah, now I have my uh, first thing there. I have my first title. So from now on, we can already actually start to organize our code. I will say my data set section. I have my features section. And finally, I have my model training section. Actually, I'm going to change the name to be a bit better like this. Okay, so now that we have it, let's maybe create the titles that I wanted to. So um, title is the biggest thing on the app. So you should only have it once. So this will be like the title of the page. And next time you want to create a title for different sections, what you should use is Streamlit Heather. Yes. And what I'm going to say here is the name of the data set. Today I'm using the New York City taxi data set. So I will just say New York City taxi data set. And I will say here the features I created. And then same here. I will just say time to train the model. Okay, and we can also just add some text and this text will be in um, a very small font. It's just for descriptions and what I can say is in this project, I look into the trends. Um, you can you can write more description as, as long as you want it and then I will say where I found this data set. And whatever information that you want to give about it. 
features will have a list where I describe things and here I also want to have some description. Okay, so now I save this, my app is still running. What I can do is actually go here and then choose one of those, either run, rerun or always rerun. If you say always rerun, every time you make a change, it's gonna rerun. If you don't say that, you're gonna have to click rerun again. So I'm just going to say always rerun. And there we have it. We have the first title, we have different sections and we have some of the descriptions here. So that's great. The next thing that I want to do is actually bring in my data and start visualizing my data. But let's do this in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like and even maybe subscribe because I'm more or less here every week. I'm trying to bring you the content about becoming a data scientist. And don't forget to also go check out my website. So you want to be a data scientist.com. There I share weekly articles, I have a podcast where I interview other data scientists and data professionals, and I have free and paid resources. I have courses on data science, both for understanding where you want to go with data science and also getting practical hands-on experience on data science. I mean, that's actually the name of my course, Hands-On Data Science. So go and check those out and I'll see you around.